the moon is approximately 50 feet, I think, 30 yeah, okay. to 50 feet mm -hmm. from here. This would be, to this scale, a mile away. Show us where the International Space Station is, Hubble, etc. Mr. Sensible, I don't think you quite understand who I am and what I am about. I am from order you may not have heard of. The Flat Earth Investigation Organization Unit, F-E-I-O-U. And you, Mr. Sensible, have been found guilty of deception, fraud, and manipulation. Mr. Sensible, you are adequately incompetent when it comes to scale. Scale, Mr. Sensible, scale. You see, had you had known the basic and fundamentals of geometry, then you would have known some simple calculations. Is it too much to ask you to carry out simple equations, Mr. Sensible? If the Earth were the size of a beach ball, 20 inches in diameter, the ISS would be about half an inch from the surface, Mr. Sensible. Half an inch. Allow me to proceed to educate the feeble-minded like yourself, Mr. Sensible. Now, if the Earth were a beach ball, and Mage, your high-altitude balloon, were above the surface at 127,000 feet, how high do you think Mage would be above the surface in millimeters, Mr. Sensible? Our task is simple. To bring down and eliminate any false doctrines, to expose charlatans who cheat good people seeking the truth. Mr. Sensible, it is now time to eliminate you. Approximately 50 feet, I think, 30 yeah, okay. to 50 mm -hmm. feet from here. This would be, to this scale, a mile away. Show us where the International Space Station is, Hubble, etc. Where? Oh, we okay. Are. So if the Earth were actually mm -hmm. this uh, this size, uh, the International okay. Space Station would be orbiting about a half an inch above the surface. 127,000 feet, 38 kilometers. 23 miles. You traveled 23 miles above the surface of the Earth. You traveled around the same height as the Red Bull jump Felix Baumgartner, Mr. Sensible. And you said... I think I can see a slight positive curve above that black line. Definite curve above that line I've drawn. Do you wonder why you were considered a moron, Mr. Sensible? Let's scale it down. 23 miles, 38 kilometers, 127 feet is only about two millimeters. Two millimeters, Mr. Sensible, above the surface. Where in that beach ball head of yours did you expect to see the curvature of Earth? With all that air in your beach ball head, what did you expect to achieve other than making yourself look like a deflated whoopee cushion? To put it bluntly, you were not high enough. Nowhere near high enough. At 38 kilometers, that stuff is flat. And if you had half a brain, you would know that. Luckily for you, Mr. Sensible, we were able to go higher. Much higher. And not only higher, we were able to determine how much land was being observed, the landmarks, locations, and how much of the horizon, a straight, flat, horizontal plane of reference, we could see, none of which you were able to determine. Whether or not the horizon is above or below the center frame of reference, we have actual measurements of how much actual land we are seeing. Mr. Sensible, do you know what this means if we have over 700 miles 
of flat horizontal plane of reference? Probably not. It means we can scale down the Earth to fit the horizon and compare it to see if there is a match. Mr. Sensible, next time you decide to send a condom into the sky, make sure you collect the relevant data instead of your presupposed idea that elevating two millimeters above the surface, you are going to see curvature. Get a grip, get a life, and get a brain. Show us that 700 miles of flat land is curving. Oh wait, you can't because you can't get high enough to show any actual curvature. Now apologize to your patrons, subscribers and members for lying to them that you saw curvature two millimeters above the surface of a scaled down model. When the experts and I both agree that only a delusional washed up old brain dead donkey would think they've seen curvature so close to the earth. And that dude who jumped out of a perfectly good balloon, um, <laughs> what's his name? Felix! Felix Bumgardner, uh, he would have been about two millimeters above the surface of this globe. That's his edge of space jump. <laughs> now, you know, I, I don't, it's, and he wants to, I don't have a problem if he does it, but the, the honesty of it would greatly diminish what I think people thought he was actually doing. And not only that, they made sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide angle lens, which curves horizontal lines. So in the photo, you see this curvature of Earth's surface, and he said, wow, he's in space, look at that. No, he's not. At that height, you don't see you don't see the curvature of the Earth if you are two millimeters above this beach ball. It is, you just don't. That stuff is flat. And then I showed examples of wide angle lenses curving hard off. I tweeted that. But I don't want to be a, a spoiled, you know, curmudgeon or anything. I just want to, I don't. It's your horizon physical. The horizon is not a physical place. You can't walk over to the horizon and stick a flag in it. All the horizon is, is a point, an apparent point, beyond which you can't see. It's as simple as that. If you move forward, the horizon moves forward. Move back, the horizon moves back. Move higher, the horizon moves further away. Move lower, it moves closer towards you. It's not a difficult concept. Sorry. Helped prove that the curve that was apparent was real. Two millimeters above the surface of this globe. The lack of physical curve, I have shown physical curve, you have not demonstrated anything. Two millimeters of... Oh, I think I can see a slight curve there. At that height? However, the closer you get to the centre... You don't see... You the less distortion there is. You don't see the curvature of the Earth. Look at that horizon, pretty much across the middle. If you are two millimeters above this beach ball... We've got a curve. At that height? If you are two millimeters above this beach ball... Same again, although I think I can see a slight positive curve about that black line. Definitely curve about that line I've drawn. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. Okay. At that height! So what you need to do first is explain to me. Make sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide angle lens which curves horizontal lines. So in the photo you see this curvature of Earth's surface and he's like, wow! He's in space! Look at that! No he's not! At that height? You don't see... You don't see the curvature of the Earth! If you are two millimeters above this beach ball. Hmm. Oh. Do you get it now? Run along to your village. They're missing their idiot.
Leafs short of a salad, mate. If you are two millimeters above this beach ball. Ow. <laughs>